Hello YouTube, this is the Booty Warrior, and I just got back from my trip to Georgia, after playing Amnesia Rebirth, it put me in the mood to re-experience some of First Jewel Games' previous titles. Uh, this isn't actually Penumbra technically, this isn't like Penumbra Overture or any of the official releases, this is a, a free tech demo they released back in the day. Yeah, let's start a new game. It's pretty short as you can imagine. This is an interesting art out of the gate, though. That was before the letter yeah, the difference in voice acting between this and the, the full game is pretty astounding. This is more or less true to the plot of the legit Penumbra. This will be interesting, because this is, um... This is basically the start of Frictional. Their first real outing. Personally, I've always had a stronger preference for Penumbra. It was the first Frictional Games titles I actually played. And they used to terrify me back in high school. I used to get like super nostalgic over it too. Like even though Overture didn't have a lot of replay value, it was a game that I played constantly over and over back in high school. Because I just loved the plot that much. Same with Black Plague. I, wait. Yeah, it was Penumbra Black Plague. That was the name of it, yeah. I like the the techy sound effects. Now that I was close, I couldn't just stop and rest. As I was walking, a strange sensation went through my body. I wondered what was waiting for me out there. Half an hour later, I was caught in a fierce storm. Perhaps I should have listened to the visual. Yeah, you should have. You fucked up, Philip. This is actually exactly how it plays out in Overture. Although in the case of Overture, it leads more into a mine shaft. Where in this game, it's like it's interesting because we're immediately down here into the the high tech area. Pressing the R key will make it easier for me to interact with objects in the world. Okay, so far so good. You'll have to excuse the lower resolution on this video. I know it's a little shinier than normal. Ooh, the glow stick. And yeah, this is a very, very basic version of the, the engine from Amnesia. You guys, for those of you more familiar with that, I've added the note to my notebook. And, oh wait, are those painkillers? Aw oh, man, look at that ghetto-ass fucking inventory screen. That's fucking adorable. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. And this is the same, I think this is the exact same icon they use in Overture. What a fucking blast from the past this game is. Might come in handy if I get in pain. Yeah. See, this is back when we didn't have, re we didn't have regenerating health or anything like that. This is when we use these things called healing items in our horror games. I can't leave, right? I cannot turn the handle, it has a rusted shut. Man, that was fucking quick. And it's interesting, because in this game, you'll notice... First of all, I don't even know if you can rotate items. So if you press R, instead of rotating, you can do this. And I guess it's red because we're not actually in range. So if I don't press R, I can move around like this, which is normal. And this is a weird thing that's specific to the Penumbra games in particular. And then they, uh, I believe they just dropped it entirely in him. Amnesia the Dark Descent. And okay, the technology wasn't quite there yet. I can't even like pull it in and away from my character. 
We didn't figure out how to make shit blow up. And this is the crate. This is the same model they use in Black Plague. I wonder, this game probably doesn't have jerky. It's an ordinary flare might come in handy when I need to light up a room. I'm just taking in the atmosphere. Let's see, it's a sturdy metal door that seems to have some kind of numeric lock. Okay, this is our first quote-unquote puzzle. Oh man, there's not even a hand or nothing. This feels like something that someone cooked up in Game Maker, which is like a free editing software. That I was not aware. I've added a note about this locked locker to my personal notes. And yeah, like, one thing that sets us apart from the other fictional games titles is you right click on an object, and most of the time, it'll actually give you a description. So it's a little bit more like classic survival horror games in that respect. Like, think of Resident Evil, think of Silent Hill. And I imagine maybe we're supposed to break it with an object. Because a lot of this is just to show off the physics engine. A tool is required to open this hatch. Oh wait, yeah, I have this. I've got dynamite. Okay, we get the fuck out of here. Surely that did the trick, right? Ooh, no. That's a badass padlock, dude. Oh wait, I'm a fucking retard. I've completely forgot I even picked this up. I do not know why I am writing this down. Perhaps I want to leave it as final message in case I do not return. Or maybe it is a way for me to deal with the terrible things I have experienced during the last hour. One hour ago, all hell broke loose. The lights went out and all these strange things started happening. We have never really seen anything has been going here. But there must have been some horrible activities. The things I heard when running were not of this world. Something took my brother and my father is still in that dark place. I just cannot leave him behind. When I am done writing this, I will go back for him. I do not know how we will get out of here, though. The handle is jammed, perhaps father. Knows another way. To be safe from the things in the darkness, I changed the code for the door to 1993. Now I am going back to search for my father. I hope he is still alive. 1993. It's a weirdly specific date. Or code. Yeah, I... <laughs> It's late in the night. Okay, it's been a it's been a while. Uh oh, this is exactly how the ending of Overture goes. Ooh. Is a naked man going to assault me? It is malfunctioning. Seems the panel is using electric magnets to attach itself to the floor or the door. So a couple things I want to notice. A couple things I want to mention about this inventory is first of all, you'll notice there's a hockey set up here goes all the way to 5, and I believe it goes higher in Overture. But then after Overture, they kind of just drop that concept entirely. It is locked. Oh. It's part of a key. Can I actually do anything with that? That doesn't seem right. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, no funny Christ, what am I thinking? I love that shit. I can't mend the key by hand. Yeah, that would be bullshit. That would make any sense. Someone very deliberately took the fire extinguisher. Maybe it's up there somehow? Wait, it's like a solid... Where's the fucking air coming from? It's totally solid, man. And yeah, one thing you'll notice with the items in this game that I'm starting to notice is uh, they don't really glow like they do in the other games, so it's a little bit less obvious. I imagine we need a screwdriver to get through these. Ah, uh, yes. Those old-school door mechanics. There is no power to the door, so it won't open. However, there is a little gap. Perhaps I can bend it open. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. It's kind of... Eh, it's, it's a demo. I'm not going to comment on it. It doesn't fucking matter. This is basically more of a, a proof of concept than anything. 
This is already getting pretty spooky. What is that? I guess it used to be a light. It's like the same... Uh, not, no, it's not actually the same model. But just from an aesthetic perspective, I already love the look of this demo. It is an old and rusted generator. It seems to be broken and there is no way I can make it. I haven't played this in years, mind you. But I have played it before. Seems I'm out of luck. This generator has clearly not been in use for several years. There is no way I am getting it started. Feels bad, man. It's been so long, I can try to remember it, but like years ago, back when I had really shitty computers, and it was commonplace to have shitty computers in my life, this was like one of the first games I played on it. It was a birthday gift, my computer. The generator won't start, I need to find some fuel for it. Okay. And I was so excited back then, I was like, yeah, I finally have my own PC. It's like, it's new. And then it could barely play this demo. Nowadays, this isn't really an issue. But, uh... Another cutscene? Well, it's sort of a cutscene. There's a gas can lying on top of the shelf. It is out of reach for me, though. I must get it down somehow. Through the power of legendary physics systems. My actual introduction to this game... Oh yeah, that works too. Good thing I didn't break it. Jesus Christ. Wow, this is really finicky. <laughs> I guess items don't really have the same kind of weight they do in the other games. Does that actually say anything? It has some kind of human icon on it. I guess I'll just take it into that room straight up. It's late in the day. Um, I haven't slept yet. So excuse me for being a little derpier than normal. Damn, the gasoline poured out on the floor. There seems to be a hose missing. I need to find one before I can pour the gasoline into the backup generator. Well, good thing I didn't use up all the fuel. Jesus Christ, Philip. And this game is really fucking weird as far as the enemy design is concerned. There's nothing like it in any of the other games. The door looks like the others, but there's a slot for a passage card. It won't accept any code unless I have a, pass a passage card. Oh, okay, that's how the battery mechanic works. Because, uh, in Overture, you actually have to, like, go out of your way to put the batteries in. There's our hose. Just a bunch of... Oh, it's dynamite. Yeah, it's really weird to have explosive weapons in a horror game. But... I, I kind of wish it's something... This game doesn't... Well, I guess this game kind of has combat a little bit. The thing is, like, Overture goes out of its way to have... How could that be done? I don't fucking know. I'm no expert. <clears throat> there, that should do it. Alright. I mean, a gas, bro. Yeah, I kind of wish that Virtual would play around with combat more often. I understand the value of having stealth in a horror game. And I appreciate the stealth horror elements that they put in their games, but... I don't know, I actually kind of like the, the combat in Overture. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 1. I'm probably in the minority when I say this. But I actually like the combat in Silent Hill. Old school Silent Hill specifically. Like Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. The power seems to be back on. Alright, cool. Okay, I guess this is the good generator then. I don't think there's anything else that can be done down here, right? came up there. Oh, mm, probably not. Yeah, I gotta figure out where to find this passenger card. I guess I can go back through the hallway. And man, the way you interact with the staircase is a little interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's like you're like bumping up on every step, it's weird.
Yeah, we are strong. Alright. Now, where do we get... Ugh. The smurfs actually kind of freak me out a bit. Okay. Can I get in here? Okay. Thankfully, we don't actually have to put in a film. Thank God for that. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? What a stench. What is that? I feel caution is required. Sneaking and leaning seems like a good idea. This is a toggle. What the fuck is that? Oh. Uh, look at this amnesia lantern. Does it, does it actually light up anything? Nah. But there's the inspiration right off the gate. I believe, because I know in Overture they have objects that will explode. I wonder if these do too. But in Overture you have to like hit them with a weapon for it to proc. No, this doesn't quite work. So what was Philip reacting to earlier? Did he see something we didn't? Hopefully we can get an object to crack those open soon. <clears throat> and as far as, like, the storyline goes, I've always had a strong preference for Penumbra 2. Uh, you could probably say accurately that Amnesia... My view on the games is... Soma and Penumbra... I don't know which I prefer most. Soma, on a philosophical level, is more interesting. But I really, really like the plot of Penumbra. But Amnesia has more of that, like, that old school, I don't know, like, castle horror thing going on. And the insanity mechanic has a, a huge impact on the atmosphere. It's a lot. Also, blood! But we're not going to comment on that. Can you... Okay, so you can also close it by throwing. That's good to know. Oh wait, I believe this is a trap you can use to kill enemies. If I recall correctly. And it, it seems like something that Virtual Games put a lot less emphasis on as time went on. But, I remember Penumbra had a huge emphasis on... Hey, we got this physics system, let's put it to good use. By having a fully fledged out puzzle for it. Like that, that's a perfect example. I don't know why I can't move these pickaxes though, that's weird. Okay, it's really bothering me. We're getting cock blocked on all of these fucking vents. What the fuck? Come on, I fucking dare you. What? How did we die there? What the fuck? I guess we got a little too close too early. Alright, we're gonna chill. We're gonna give it a second. I think we're safe. What is this thing? The odor coming from it is truly awful. That's a weird spelling. Maybe it's a European thing, I don't know. But yeah, this is a very unique enemy. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 1, the flying enemies, a little bit. Um, there's nothing like this in any of the games. Any Amnesia or Penumbra or anything. It's very unique. And let's go back in here. Make sure we clean this place out. I guess there's not actually that much in here. Yeah, these things can definitely break down the doors. Oh 
Oh yeah, this is a good sign. So I apparently completely devoured that motherfucker. Feels bad. And uh, going back on the topic of the story in Penumbra, the one thing I remember about Penumbra is it, like, for those who played, the story of Red is like so sad, you know. It would not be a good idea to go any further. That steam is pretty hot. No kidding. Oh. Ventilation. Oh, okay. Now we have a lot more control over the situation. Okay. There we go. I believe we can hotkey the... key items as well. Yeah. Well, that's not ominous at all. I'm kind of tempted to move towards this creepy light immediately. We may or may not have to like use this every time, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we do. Huh. Are we actually getting like the the night vision too? Or maybe it's just the way the lighting works. I'm not sure. But yeah, Penumbra does have a little bit of like an amnesia night vision thing going on, but there's no straight up insanity mechanics in that game. Okay, and here we're gonna have to like jump up. There we go. <clears throat> so my first introduction to this game was actually a channel named Adventure game reviews. He talked about Penumbra Overture. And I remember at the time I was obsessed with trying to find as many horror games as possible. Because in general it was a pretty new thing for me and I was looking for something different. You know, something that stood out from the crowd and wasn't just like the same old Resident Evil and Silent Hills and shit. And eventually that culminated me to find, finding out about this game. I was like, yeah, this looks creepy. I like first-person horror games. And there's this other game I've been meaning to play, but I haven't been able to because of, um... For a while, my computer just wasn't up to the task. Nowadays, it definitely is. And I gotta remember to install it at some point. I should have played it during October, actually. Come to think of it. It's a game called Cryostasis, where you spend it on this creepy ass ship and now I'm super confused where I am but you're like out in the cold and, and that's like one of the things that appealed to me so much about Penumbra in particular because uh, snowy environments in a horror game is not something that you see very often oh wait, where's this? Okay, this is the other side, gotcha. They're giving us a lot of these flares. The thing is, like, in general, I try to be more conservative about the items I use, especially when they're consumed. Especially when they're consumables. Oh man, I have to go up there? Fuck. Because I don't remember where the enemies are in this game, or how many there are. That's actually a pretty good 
film ring effect too. This looks familiar. Have we been in here? I know I've seen these green desks before. Maybe it's a reused asset, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So, okay, this is really off-putting, the fact that they don't show you the notes immediately. 3654, okay. this. This makes me think it's going to be important to me somehow. Well, you're not an architect, Philip. Who the fuck knows? Ooh. Let's go super down. Okay, I can move this. Oh, there is something up there. Okay, so like one thing that sucks about the number that's coming back to my mind is uh You can't rotate objects at all, which makes puzzles like this a little bit more awkward than they normally would be. Okay. Considering the lack of space <coughs> most have a double use for these, repair and parking spots. But where are the vehicles? That's a good question. Now what does this need? Power? Maybe there's something hidden under these things. Or, maybe I'm supposed to use this to like get up there. It's like an alternative way of getting that way. Because I don't see anything up here. Maybe all I needed was just the power core, and that's it. An electric cable of some sort. It is torn and worn, but seems to be usable. Hello? Wait, there's hallucination sequences in this game, too? The fuck? Can I do anything with this? So I'm kind of curious, like, I don't know if there's a making of Penumbra out there, or like a developer commentary. I'm curious how much of the ideas of Black Plague they already came up with before they made this. Alright, so the only other thing I can really think of is going back into the vents. Okay, I missed an item, apparently. A jar containing what seems to be a liquid of some kind. Can't really detect what's in there. Mixing the two bottles seems like I created acid. Okay. Maybe I can use that to actually open up the lock. There we go. Alright, we finally got back on back on track. Now what secrets are here? It's an ID card. Okay, and I know immediately where to go from there. Back to the basement. No spooks, please. Not yet. My heart is not ready. Hold on. Does it say anything on there? Fuck. I mean, they did tell me that I needed a... ...password, too not there. Is it me or is there like someone totally breathing in there? Listen. Like 
creepy, man. Okay, metal work and reparation. Okay. So this is where I use this. Yeah, the uh, design is a lot more subtle in this game than it is in the others. Seems like the machine fixed the key just fine. Oh, it's that easy? I didn't think it would be that easy to fix the key. I wonder if it's a real thing that exists in real life. Ooh. Anyway, back to the main hall once again. See, like, when they played that cutscene, I thought that meant that we were totally done with that area. That's what it communicated to me. That's usually what that means. Kind of want to close that just in case. totally come in here though, I don't know. I could come through the vents, I could just punch through the door too. Ah. Oh, okay, I thought that would be like a document with the raid. Oh, this must be the rest of... Holy shit. Uh, hold on, bruh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Booty, why are you so scared of such a beta cuck monster? I wonder if it disappears like this is in Amnesia in the Dark Descent. Well, what the fuck, that thing is badass. It's really badass! just took like three dynamites. I guess if you're a monster you might as well be tough, right? Yeah, I imagine this goes up here. Yep. Wait. Is this different? Oh yeah, this is totally different. Thank God. I was a little nervous there. And I believe those flying beasts are the only enemy types in the demo. Even though I thought that the demo had like this image of a turn gate that was like crawling on all fours. Oh no! Is this the infamous computer from the ending of Black Plague? It reminds me of it. Look at that old school ass computer, I miss those. And this particular mail seems quite interesting, I added the text to my notebook. Uh, okay, a bunch of codes to, like, herp and dirt with. Gotcha. That's pretty fucking interesting. Nothing else. Yeah, fuck it. I got what I came for. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm at. Six, 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 seven. Okay. Thank God that worked out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can get through any doorway now. <clears throat> Nine, eight, three, four.
1144. <gasps> what? What kind of room is this? This looks like a, one of those rooms they throw you in. In the fucking mental institutes. And yeah, I guess that's it for the, the demo of Penumbra. Hope you guys enjoyed this blast from the past. I did. It was a lot more confusing than I thought it'd be. I don't know if I'll play Overture, I just wanted to, like, show this off, because it's been so long since i played this game. Yeah, that'll be all for now. See you guys later.